Hey guys and gals, me again, Easy Jeezy. We're at uh, my favorite close to home spot. Doesn't look like we got that snow. And uh, the mountain's still, it's probably snowing up there by the looks of it. By the way, that wind was coming yesterday afternoon on that ride, I thought for sure we were gonna get dumped on, but. <laughs> Look at all the geese or ducks. I don't know the difference. Now it's a weekend, Sunday morning. Most people want to stay in bed, and it's like, hey, there's there's stuff to do, uh, stuff to see. It's kind of like scouting the property when the weekends come. I like to. Uh, just kind of drive around town. It's real quiet. See what's changed, see what's going on. They're gonna open the canyon here in a couple weeks. So we'll be going back up to Estes Park and uh, my friend Bob and I are probably gonna have a lot quicker access. I wanna go down across this field where those trees are. So. I don't know if it goes back this far. So I'm gonna turn you out back on. I bet it does. I think it goes right where those two trees are. Right, to, right down here. Oh, there's a couple of trees by that pole down there. So I'm gonna have to go in from a, a ditch road that's down there. This place is for sale, so the gate's open. I don't know if they're trying to uh, encourage people to come back here, looks like somebody else is back here people come back here with their dogs and just go for a walk I guess you could say they're people like you and me they just like to get out and put and explore and that's why I got the ball I like the old cheap stuff I don't want power steering air conditioning and I want a simple, this is about as simple as it has ever been made. You know, you would think that this piece of property here, <laughs> it's got that noisy train that comes by. The whole thing is just in a bad spot. You're in a windy spot, but he wants a fortune for it. Uh, there's where we were, there's that building up there so we just came in from down below somebody out walking their dog Just uh, moving closer towards the foothills here. I'm looking for maybe a dirt road to get off on. <laughs> Don't take that wrong. I do like to play in the dirt though. And I see something right there. And this all looks private, so that might be my best bet. I'm willing to try it, how about you? <laughs> when I was a teenager, I used to do this shit. Now I am getting back to my second childhood here. I'd like to say retirement, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think a lot of people are going to miss that pleasure. Well, I'd like to. A few years. Alright, well, that's home off in the distance. And uh, the good old Power line service roads. Those are always a good source of uh, fun. 
finding a little trail. Wonder if that's Pike's Peak. Nah, that's way too far. Might be. Follow those poles down. I don't know if you can. I don't know if the camera picks that up. I can see it pretty clear with my naked eye. And these people got to put up with a lot of wind. There's nothing to stop it. And this uh, this ridge which turns into, I think the other side of it is the devil's backbone. But this this is the first ridge as you come across the, the plains, across the continent, this would be the first ridge you hit. This is what the settlers saw from a distance and approached when they were coming across the plains. So, when you're heading to California, these are the things you had to overcome with a horse and buggy. I mean, it was bad enough probably being out there on the plains with no trees and uh, no water. Yeah. You guys have been down this road before. This takes us to that little hill climb testing spot. And it looks like plenty of people drive on this road and no weeds growing over it. It actually looks like somebody put gravel down on it or something. So I don't think public service would do that for these type of lines. They don't need servicing very often. They got some awesome big ass trucks that they'll just go anywhere. See the trails down there? Sun temporarily hiding behind a cloud. It'll be out in a minute or two. This new uh, Google Plus, I guess, you know, should make a comment on that. I'm having a little trouble keeping track of some of my subscribers. I can still go back to the original YouTube and uh, hit my subscriber list. I don't know how long that's going to stay there. But with the Google Plus, I, I am meeting some new people. Uh, met Steve over there at uh, Mr. Willis uh, up there in Michigan. He seems like a, a nice guy. And uh, that's great. I love, you know, meeting new folks and watching what they're doing. And uh, he's got an awesome car. He's got his shop all uh, organized up. I guess you could call this maybe a shout out. Uh, I added a circle and it's like, I don't, I can't, <laughs> I accidentally get to that page where you can put people in your circles or something. Um, there's a little box that comes up. You can always do it that way. But last weekend, I had all these circles that I could put people in probably the same thing you know you got friends and I don't know <laughs> I'm still figuring it out but I'm totally lost uh, hey did you notice that one uh, new feature uh, when you upload a video you have the three photos that came from your from your film from your video clip and on the bottom there's an option to put your own thumbnail. And I never put anything in there. I just kind of like chose from what they, the three that they had, try to pick the best of the three that would apply to the video I was posting. And I really didn't, you know, I, 
I've tried to make, I was going to change my icon from the little sand rail to, to Rusty or the dune buggy or something, but uh, I had trouble getting the, getting the small enough resolution. Well, with the new Google Plus, it says right in there, if you click on it, they want the biggest photo that you've got. Uh, I guess it has to be under two, uh, I don't know what the MB stands for, megabytes. It has to be under two megabytes. But at any rate, I went into my picture file and found a full-size picture of the dune buggy, which had nothing to do with that ride. It was at the same location. And... Uh, Boy, it downloaded quick, and it picked it right up, and it put it right on my video, and I'm going to be watching that ride in the dune buggy, uh, because you need that hook. I'm not seeing the description box in the new format either, um, and you kind of, everybody does the same thing. You're, you want to, if you want to get people to watch your video, you got to get the hook, you got to pull them in you gotta give it some sort of a title that's maybe catchy unless you're you know already popular and doing something that you have a big following on which which I don't but that's alright uh, just saying um, so anyhow it might get you some more views uh, I've never signed up for the AdSense but I'm sort of feeling like maybe I I wanna do that now uh, while you still can. I'm not sure if that's gonna stay or go away or whatever. Uh, I can't imagine a lot of people staying if they're not, you know, making a little bit. And it's, I know it's just pennies on the dollar, but it's still some bucks for you to uh, buy a camera or some other kind of equipment. And, uh, yeah. So anyhow, try that uh, image feature when you upload your video, and you might be able to pull something out of your files that you like better than what they give you as an option. That's fun. <laughs> I love doing that. Okay, guys, we uh, just stopped over here. I was checking out some firewood. It's a little roadside fruit stand. Sells firewood and stuff. I've talked to the guy before. He kind of works on the honor system. He he's it's unattended. Uh, I'm not sure how much one of those boxes of wood are, but a little stack here was 20 bucks, obviously. And uh, I went over to this other box. Uh, and this one, I'm not even sure this stuff is dry. I think it's freshly cut and split. But this little uh, canister here appears to go for a hundred bucks. Now that's just thrown in there. Uh, <laughs> that seems like a lot of money, you know, for some wood. But when you think of getting a chainsaw and a truck and a permit, driving up, you know, 100 miles in the mountains because they don't really have firewood cutting in close, they, uh, well, it's this stuff here. It's this beetle kill. If a guy was retired and had the property and the land, this guy's been here forever. His son, I talked to him, his son got laid off. He worked for a big corporation, uh, had a good job and he has two boys and they got laid off, couldn't find work and uh, they started gathering this wood for him and cutting it, bundling it and uh, they're evidently just getting by on it. <laughs> He's got some, this is grandfather did. This little section of land is right across the street from this newer high school and uh, this whole area is developing, but this guy just refuses to sell, and he's grandfathered in, and he's scraping by a living with that fruit stand, and they tried to close all the fruit stands around here. 
uh, a couple summers ago, they'd have a, they'd close off the street and have a market, and the farmers could bring produce in and sell it. Well, uh, the government said, you know, we're not sure it is an FDA approved food, so you can't do that because uh, these people were most of the time not charging tax. They it was a cash. Uh, something that they did on the side with the regular crops to get by a little extra money and uh, they're just trying to put a stop to that kind of thing so even though unemployment is an issue and people are trying to figure out how to exist they're trying to stop that too and uh, who's the criminal here you know that's all I got to say on that but I'm trying to get myself situated where I might get one of those solar panels. I, I don't want to go off grid, but I want to have the option to have a few comforts if I uh, do have an interruption of services and I do have a fireplace and a wood burning stove. So uh, I would like to have those options available rather than getting on the bus and being taken to uh, the local school or whatever the facility is until things change. Well, we had the flood this summer. National Guard went up there and they got the helicopters going and they took out hundreds and hundreds. I don't have no idea how many families that lost access because of the flooded roads and they had to just no notice, leave everything behind and come to town and get stuck wherever they got stuck but there were a it wasn't a law you did not have to leave and there were a lot of people that chose to stay who had provisions uh, made that choice didn't want to leave their stuff and uh, that's cool uh, I want to be one of those kind of people I'm not trying to make a statement I'm not trying to uh, uh, <laughs> go to the extreme I'm just saying uh, we've reached a time that everything's unpredictable the weather's changing the government's changing the people are changing desperate people do desperate things and uh, if you're one of the persons that needs things you don't have you may be forced to do things that you wouldn't normally do. A lot of good people. Uh, so if you can be self-sufficient and have a little bit set aside for a short period of time, I'm not talking about forever, long periods of time, and uh, I'm not talking about revolutions and all that bullshit. I'm just saying, you know, it. Uh, I was always a scout when I grew up, and. Uh, we lived on a lake all summer, every summer, with uh, no services whatsoever. We had an outhouse. We had a propane bottle to keep the refrigerator going and cook some food on. And uh, got that filled a couple times every summer. But uh, that's how we lived. We had a hand pump in the corner. And we stood there and washed up uh, from a porcelain enamel bowl that my mom would heat water on the stove, pour it into the bowl, and she'd stand there and make sure that you got that washcloth going good and hard, and she would uh, redo whatever you didn't do a very good job on. She'd stick her finger from one ear <laughs> out the other, it felt like sometimes I'd be in tears. <laughs> so you tried to do a pretty good job to avoid that, because she was a little rough on purpose because she wanted you to learn how to do it yourself and uh, I'm amazed that you know there's a lot of people out there that don't have any idea of how to go camping you know I, I you know you could buy a tent and set it up in your living room and be more comfortable than eating your whole house or uh, uh, going and living with a bunch of people that are coughing and staring at you and all that stuff. You know, I'm just saying. I don't know what I'm saying. But it's getting later in the day. 
I need another coffee, and uh, 